So today I'm going to show you how to make a cooked breakfast for type 2 diabetics. Now, if you're a type 2 diabetic and you're looking to reverse your condition naturally, then Type Rhino is the channel for you. Give us a subscribe, give us a like, press that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos we bring out 6.30 GMT time every Monday. Now, why am I qualified to talk about this? Well, my name is John Collett. And in March 2018, I got diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. And within six months, I managed to reverse my condition. And what I want to do is help you do the same. So it's Sunday morning, just done a workout. We're going to get my favorite breakfast of the day done. And that is a cooked breakfast. And this consists of bacon, mushrooms, and fried eggs. Now, it doesn't matter what eggs you do, if you want to do scrambled, you want to do boiled, or you want to do poached eggs with it, that's your choice. Well, why is this a good breakfast? Well, first of all, it's carb free. <laughs> the other benefit is the bacon has got lots of vitamin B12, which is the most efficient way of getting B12 into your system. Now, if you're not if, you, if, you, if you're not a meat eater, you're a vegetarian, yes, you are right, you can get that B12 into your body through vitamins and other vegetables, but this is my preferred method. Um, and then also on the bacon, you've got bits of fat. So this is really good if you're on a keto diet as well. So let's get into it. Hello, so the first step is to prep the grill pan. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off. Get some foil, sunny, the shiny side up, and we're gonna pick it into the grill pan there. And we're gonna put the grill back on here. Now, you've got some other options. We prefer to grill the bacon, but you can, you can fry it, you can put it in the microwave, do whatever you wanna do, but this is the way we do it. Let's get on to the next step. So the next step, guys, is to do the bacon. We've got our, our grill out of, the, out of the oven now, which has been preheated. And we're just gonna put the bacon on the grill pan. And if you can hear that, the begin is beginning to sizzle as soon as we put it on. Right. For a bit of extra room, I like to do alternate. Gives me a bit of, bit of space. Obviously, make sure you wash your hands before you do this. And then just put it back in the grill. <laughs> okay guys, so the bacon's been under the grill for a few minutes. You can see it's beginning to sizzle. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn it over. <laughs> you probably find you got a bit more space on the grill as well. You can see the fat is all being caught in the foil, which means it's gonna be far easier to clean this baby up at the end. <laughs> and we're gonna stick it back in and then we're gonna prep the mushrooms and the eggs. So it's all ready when it comes out nice and warm. Okay, so we're gonna prep the mushrooms next. Now I prefer to use fresh mushrooms from the grocery section. If you, need, if you need to, use frozen, you know, it means mess, but if you can, always try and use organic mushrooms. So what we're first gonna do is pop the stalk like that. So we've got that. If you've got any dirt or anything like that, you wanna cut it off, then cut it off, no problem whatsoever. Then what we're gonna do here, we've got the mushroom, we're gonna cut it in half. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel off the skin, like so. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna slice the mushrooms through the sections, like so. All right guys, we're gonna start doing the mushrooms and the eggs now. We're gonna use a tablespoon in here for the mushroom, for the eggs, and a tablespoon in here for the mushrooms. Now we used to like to use sunflower oil. You can also use vegetable oil. Okay, we try to avoid using olive oil because there's a bit too much flavor in that. Okay, so I've already done this one. Um, 
and I like to use it, use it, go a bit by hand, pour that into that one, probably be a little bit too much there. So first thing we're going to do is get the pans on, warm it up and then get the mushrooms and the eggs in. Okay guys, let's dish up. And there you have it. Cooked breakfast, fried egg, bacon and mushroom. Sometimes we like to put a bit of sugar free red sauce with it, but that's up to you. Enjoy. Now, to get a food guide of all the foods that you can eat as a type 2 diabetic, please go in the description below, click on the link and that will take you to a, a website. Put your name and your email address in there and then you'll get this free food guide. To get learn how to make cauliflower pizza base, click this button here. And to learn how to make courgette spaghetti, click this button here. And don't forget, click this button to give us a subscribe. You're not a number, you're a rhino. Now charge.